Let's take a look at the lesson, Inequalities with Similar Fractions Up to 12. Which sign makes the sentence true? Two-fifths plus three-fifths is less than, greater than, or equal to four-fifths. Well, let's see. If I have two-fifths and I add three more fifths, how many fifths will I have? Two plus three is five. Five fifths. So this is equal to five fifths. So is five fifths greater than, less than, or equal to four fifths? Yeah, five fifths is going to be greater than four fifths. If I drew a circle and split it into fifths, one, two, three, four, five fifths would be more than one, two, three, four fifths. All right. Next, we have two-fifths. Is that greater than, less than, or equal to three-fifths plus one-fifth? Well, I can already see that two-fifths is less than three-fifths, and now we're going to be adding more to that. So we know this is going to be greater without even having to do the math. So we know that this is going to be less than. Two-fifths is less than three-fifths plus one-fifth. Here we have five sixths. Five sixths is greater than, less than, or equal to two sixths plus two sixths. Well, if I have two sixths and then I add two more sixths, I know that that will be four sixths altogether because I will add two plus two, which is four. So which one is greater? Yeah, five sixths. Here we have one fifth is less than, greater than, or equal to two-fifths plus two-fifths. Well, I know two plus two is four, and that would be four-fifths because we're combining the fifths. And then over here we have one-fifth. Well, I know one-fifth is less than four-fifths because if we had a circle and we split it into fifths, if I only had one-fifth, that's a lot less than if I had Four fifths. All right. Three fifths is greater than, less than, or equal to one fifth plus one fifth. Well, I know one plus one is two, so one fifth plus one fifth is two fifths. Three fifths is greater than two fifths. Three-fourths minus two-fourths is less than, greater than, or equal to one-fourth. Well, let's see. If you have three-fourths and you take two of them away, three minus two is one, so one-fourth. Ah, oh, would be equal to one-fourth. So the sign is equal. Now here we have five-sixths minus four-sixths. Well, I know five minus four is one, so five-sixths minus four-sixths is one sixth. And then we have our three sixths on this side. So I know that one sixth is less than three sixths. One fifth is greater than, less than, or equal to, let's see, three fifths minus two fifths. Well, I know three minus two is one, so one fifth. Ah, they are equal. One fifth is equal to one fifth. Two-sixths is greater than, less than, or equal to three-sixths minus one-sixths. So if we have three minus one, that's two-sixths. Ah, and those are equal. Here we have two-fifths. Is that greater than, less than, or equal to four-fifths minus one-fifth? Well, if we have four minus one, that's three. So three-fifths. Ah, so two-fifths is less than three-fifths. Fantastic job today, friends.